Hello everyone, welcome back to the Karak with Mehreen show. I'm so, so excited about today's guest. She is a phenomenal businesswoman. She has created a huge, crazy empire, not only in China, but also here in the Middle East. She is an entrepreneur. She is a leader. I'm so excited to welcome Hannah. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Hello, I'm Hannah. It's uh, the introduction of myself. Oh. But I feel shy. <laughs> but it's a very brief intro. There's so much more to add, right, about yourself. Everything that you've done, it's it's so incredible. So this is a very little trailer of what you've done. Yeah. So now I should talk about myself first. Yes. So in so now I'll just ask you. We'll start a little bit about your journey as okay. an entrepreneur. How that's been like. Yeah. So so first of all. Um, how did you get into the business world, into entrepreneurship? Did you always want to be an entrepreneur? No, actually, at the beginning, after I graduated from the college, I just want to be an English teacher. Mm -hmm. So I just applied for a teacher in the senior high school. And I really love my students. And I soon set up a very good and close relation with my students. Wow. I love them. They love me. So, you know, the study uh, atmosphere in my class mm -hmm. is so strong. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody like my class. So I enjoy my career. And every, uh, every term, mm -hmm. schooling term, our school, our class is the number one in the school. Oh, wow. So you're so, very good yeah, at what you did. Yeah, I always be the best uh, teacher in the, <laughs> in the school. I always got some uh, award, and uh, suddenly one day my my baba, we have our own factory, mm -hmm. and we are doing the MDF. Later I will introduce our business, and the baba just calling me. Oh, I need your help. You have to go back, to to support me. But at that time, it's really a <clears throat> difficult uh, decision for me. Mm -hmm. Because I love my career, I want to be a teacher. I want to see my students to will challenge more in their college student, college study. Yeah. Mm, finally, I have to, I have to give up my personal dream. Then I give up my teacher's job. I come back to my factory. But at the beginning, I have no any knowledge about uh, our production. I just came to came to Tianjin. Mm -hmm. to set up the international business. Mm -hmm. But this idea is not by myself. This is my father's direction. I just uh, see, oh, you learn English, you must do something related with English. But I have no any knowledge about uh, international business. Mm -hmm. I just can speak a little English. and can listen, can talk. But I have no any knowledge about how to do international business. Mm -hmm. But. Um, the lucky of me is my father has a very good uh, friend in Tianjin. Okay. He also my teacher. He teach me, he taught me how to do international business, hand by hand actually, from 2007. And then at the first uh, several years, I do the international business and I try to grasp the chance. So I came to Dubai, I came to the Middle East, and I try to find my customers here. Mm -hmm. So this is the beginning of my international Journey. business. Yeah. But I experienced uh, tough situations. You know, the beginning is very difficult for me. I don't know how to do, and I don't know where is my customers. Yeah, this is the beginning of my career here. Yeah, that's so cool how you s completely switched a career and you were already like really good at one career. So it was yeah, obviously yeah. a very big decision yeah. to take a step back from that and go into a new career, which yes. then you dominated as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you switched to your to a different career, how yeah. was that? How was that decision making process like? Like, why did you feel like you want you had to switch to a different career? Actually, this decision made only I think I have the duty Be because I'm the you know my family only two daughters. Mm -hmm. I'm the first You're one. The yeah, yeah. At that time, my my sister still in school, so I think I have the duty 
to, to support my father. Even I don't know what I should do, how to do, and what will be my future. But I have to do. This is only by duty. Mm -hmm. I think I have to do this. And when I came to my factory, I see, oh, so many workers in my factory. I think this is not only my personal or my family's uh, matters. I have to do something for my for workers. All those yeah. workers. Yeah, I must create a more um, excellent future for my workers. So I have to run my company well. You had like a sense of responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work. This is kind of sense of responsibility. In do, do you think you you feel that you have this responsibility because you were the oldest child? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Is is that how the culture is where when you're the oldest child, you have, um, you know, you, you have to set a role yeah, model. Yeah, I think this is the word uh, yeah. culture, I think, yeah, not only sure. in China. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that makes sense. Like in even in Pakistan, it's, it's very true all over yeah. the world. You see, like when you're the oldest child, you have this sense of like, you know, you're setting an example for yeah. your siblings. For, yes. and. And for you, it was more than that. It was for your father. It was also yeah. for all those workers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the beginning of your journey. Yeah. And h how many years did you do uh, teaching? Uh, before only you... two years. Okay, two years. And then you you start. So what did you study before you became a teacher? I studied in Beijing Foreign Study, Foreign Language Studies University. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's why you knew English. You learned yeah, English, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and then you went on. But international business, I learned was different. Uh, 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 was practical. Yeah, during my my job. Makes sense. So yeah, then, yeah. so then, how was the journey like after you became a uh, after you entered the business world? So in the beginning, of course, it was very hard because you didn't know yeah. what was happening. So yeah. how did you gradually start learning? What what was a big help support for you during that time? So actually, I, I make a progress only by the practice. Mm -hmm. We have to do something. My first uh, business is for, with uh, South Korea. Actually, for me, I'm lucky. During different period, I can, I might different kind of uh, people. I call them my lucky friends, uh, different uh, years. Uh, mm -hmm. Beginning, I, I might one uh, South Korea boss. Okay. He's so he is so nice. He gave me the orders, and even he teach me how to do it. You know, China and South Korea are very near. Yeah. Every week, after like uh, Monday, we transport, we ship the goods to Korea. To Korea. One five days later, they can receive the goods, and uh, in one week, I can get the payment. At the beginning, I learned what's the LC at the site. Mm -hmm. I love my teachers. Also now, my teacher now already the manager of my company. After he retired, he came to my... Oh, he came back to your company. Yeah, okay. yeah. Helped me to do the business here. The South Korean No, person? no, no. My teacher. Just oh, now, yeah. I beginning, I mentioned. Oh, the he, he, The friends of my father. Okay. He told me how to do the business. Oh, yeah. The yeah, one yeah, 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 yeah. No, he, he already worked with me. So, so what was he working as before? Also, uh, the international he, business. He was also. Yeah, in the he also has a, her his own company. Okay, and now, then now he. Yeah, he worked back. with me together. We are together. And now, of course, that helped a lot during your journey. Yes, but now my teacher always say, "Oh, you are so ambitious. You already know more about me, <laughs> <laughs> more than more than him." So, why do you think you became so ambitious? How did you get into this business world? This and is, uh, I think, uh, the in. The courage you 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 catch, or how to say this? Uh, when whenever you fulfill one task, you fulfill one small task. Little little, you can grasp, or you can know yourself more. Oh, this is I can do. You can do. Before that. I don't know what I should do. Now I know I can. As long as I I work hard, I learn hard. I want to know, I'm eager to know. Even now, I have a new plan. I want to apply for the master degree in Hong Kong. Because I already, I already finished one. I want another one for the uh, international project management. Mm -hmm. I want to, to know more new things. We cannot stop learning. Yeah, yeah. education is very important regardless yeah. of what age you are or what 
part of your life you're in yeah being educated and learning is will always be there 24 7 yeah so it's very cool to see that you still have that passion for learning as you yeah you know progress in your career because yeah. it will be a part of you always actually this is the learning i think is uh, enjoyable yeah. not tough not like uh, in the case eyes, oh, it is a hard work. Actually, in my, in my opinion, studying in school, in college, I think it's really the best time in everybody's life. For me, I think so. Why, why do you think that? I think uh, during our studying age, we only learn and we only get as long as you learn, you can get, get knowledge mm -hmm. and without any uh, concern about, oh, but the parents else. will pay us. We don't worry about the money, about the payment. Yeah, we you just don't have any other. This is only the way and only the time you do for yourself. No any uh, passion, no difficult uh, feelings or you feel very hard. I don't I cannot afford something like this. Yeah. You don't have any other like responsibilities. To yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you, all your focus is just on. This school. is only the time for to enrich yourself. Mm -hmm. So for you, what? How was your journey like in in your school, for example? Um, how did you make sure that you were as enriched as you can be? Did you yeah. did you do things outside of school <laughs> as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. You you get a point. Uh, when I was studying in the in school. I'm not only study the the majors in school. I at the same time I do other ex uh, examinations to try to get more certificate. Okay. So at that time, I, how I train one ability like uh, uh, self self learning. No teacher teach you. Just buy the books. You just the memory. You just do yourself and take part in the examination. That's all. So this is also another kind of ability. You must know how to learn yourself. Yeah. Cannot totally depend, rely on teachers. Yes. You must try to know, try to learn how to learn yourself. This is also very important ability, I think. For sure, self-learning is, especially now when we have like AI and ChatGPT, like everything is yeah. already given to us. Yeah. So it's our ability to make use of what knowledge is good for us, what's not good, what yeah. should we be learning, what we should not. Yeah. So it's it's a lot to do with self-evaluation. So yeah. definitely it's it's always been important, but now it's even, it's growing in importance. So yeah. For sure. Actually, English for me, my first decision is learning English. Okay. At, at our plan, my family plan, I should learn Chinese culture. L until your, the, even in the master degree, I must learn this major. But I, I changed to learn English. I think uh, in a sudden occasion, I changed my mind. I say, oh, mama, I don't want to go to the <laughs> university for the Chinese study. <coughs> Sorry, I want to learn English. But the mama said, oh, you, you never have such a special training for English. How can you be admitted by the Beijing? Because the number one uh, college in China is the uh, Foreign Language Studies okay. University oh, in Beijing. Yeah. Okay. So Baba took me to Beijing and I found one international school. I studied there one year only for English. English word, vocabulary, grammar, and uh, European uh, culture, listening comprehension, oral English training. One year, I get up at 12 o'clock, try to listening, training my listening comprehension. I listening the BBC VOA news, and also I listening the China Radio International every night in the midnight, 12 o'clock. Wow. And I keep listening, even I'm, I'm uh, uh, have a breakfast, when I'm working from uh, to the uh, class, I keep listening, listening. Yeah, to train. After one year's hard working, I take the examination. Then, luckily, I'm, 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 uh, I get the offer. Yeah. So it's I, not luck. It's yeah, yeah, hard yeah. work. Yeah. No, actually, my English is not so good, but I'm I eager to learn. That's all. 
Yeah, I think it comes with the passion. When you yeah. have that eagerness, when you have that passion, then yeah. then you can learn anything that you set your mind to. Beginning, I, I, I like to learn English just to have the interest. But now I know English learning is not a, a major, it's a tool. It can help me to know more about the world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's, it makes it easier for you to meet all yeah, kinds of yeah. people, and then it became helpful for you even in your business. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, a tool for for any career that you get yeah. into. Learning English is important. So how old were you when you when you learned English? When you started learning? I learning from uh, in China. In my age, we learn from the junior high school. But now, in China, people learn. The kids learn from kindergarten. kindergarten. Yes. Okay. So now it's it's becoming more. Yeah, more, yeah, yeah. More and more Chinese people can talk, yeah. very well. Yeah. I, I yeah I, English is becoming very accessible to all parts of the world. Yes. So, yeah, makes sense. And so, moving back into your entrepreneurship journey. Okay. Yes. And to your business journey. Yeah. So so you you became you went into the business you became mm. an entrepreneur you had this your father's friend who helped you a lot in your yeah. journey so one thing is that you were also a female entrepreneur yeah and i want to know more about how it's like being a female entrepreneur in china oh in china yeah so many so many ladies like me mm-hmm. and they also challenge uh also fulfill more they're already more successful than me. I'm just a, a little, actually I can, how, how to say in China now, the ladies more self-independent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, more and more people want to realize their own dreams. Don't rely on any, anyone. Anyone else. Don't want to rely on family, rely on husband, only rely on themselves. Yeah, this is the truth, this is the reality in China. Is, is this your mindset as well? When you went into business, you... Actually, this is, uh, <coughs> I think I should say thanks to my, my baba. Mm-hmm. My baba actually training me, not like I am a girl. You know, when I was in junior or senior high school, mm-hmm. after we, we have the summer holidays, every morning I want to have more sleeping. Baba said, oh, please get up. You must train how to drive. Your uncle will come and take you outside to, and try to learn how to drill. Okay, okay. I think that time is 1996. At that time, seldom people can drive, especially for girls. Oh. Yeah. So, this is so I point. got my license for driving in 1997. Oh, wow. So this is your dad encouraging you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even my, my younger sister also. So, so that means your dad, like, he didn't... He didn't see you any different from like, oh, you're a girl or you're yeah, a boy. No, he never, never. To, yes. Yeah. In China, the older, in, uh, in the older, for the ancient China, mm-hmm. families want to have, at least you must have one son. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is a kind of culture. <laughs> but in, in my family, my baba never think like this. Yeah. 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 So, of course, that plays a huge role. If, if your own parents are encouraging you and they don't see you different from a boy or you they treat you no, unequally no. so it impacts you a lot growing up yeah, you feel yeah. more empowered you can know my name my chinese name hai yu hai my name my my baba give my give my name hai yu I mean, uh, hai means c s e a c yu means jade j a d e jade jade okay. so jade means baba my baba take me as a jade in the sea it's uh, oh. J- like it's kind of very uh, kind of jewelry, like yeah, 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 yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So, so he... my baba never want me miss any chance, any opportunity to learning. Yeah. 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 That's very beautiful. Do you think that this, um, like this encouragement of girls in families, it's growing in China? Because you said in ancient yeah, China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no. now it's it's yeah, very accepted. Every family, yes. Uh, every parents, every family have the same. Uh, attitude towards boy and, and the girl. girls mm-hmm. maybe we pay more attention on girls growing mm-hmm. you can you see uh, you can see in china now we will train our kids from uh, the kindergarten age we train them handwriting painting singing dancing playing even the sports every aspect we, we want our kids them. to learn yeah. to know yeah. So it's very inclusive. It's a very inclusive yeah, yeah, environment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 
so so this is beautiful to see like how your family encouraged you yeah but when you enter the business world did you face any discrimination or any kind of like from other people so other people that you meet maybe they didn't take you seriously because you're a woman like did you face any kind of discrimination in that no sense? no never yeah actually in fact uh, just because i'm a female and I, at that time i'm young i do the business actually sell people in, in our fields mdf fields pb mm -hmm. fields mm -hmm. sell them case of the boss came to the factory to run the business mm -hmm. and <coughs> i think till now only maybe three or four like me in the same situation but this is also a kind of advantage of me yeah you know yeah everyone it gives you yeah. a, a unique element yeah, yeah yeah i'm a unique and i think this is a fresh a fresh uh, phenomenon in our fields so i think this is my advantage yes yeah, so, yeah, yeah it, maybe people my customers pay more attention on me because you're yeah i think it, it depends a lot on like your mindset like how you take it so you can take it negatively you can think oh my god i'm the only woman in this room it's 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 unfair yeah, or it's, you can uh, take it positively of and course say, it take time to let them know you oh yeah of to course trust to trust you your image. Yeah, yeah yeah i must build myself build my image on them i i have to do something together with them yeah after we finish we cooperate with, with each other one year, two years, three years. Oh, they know, oh, Hannah is a reliable, reliable business woman. Yeah. So what what is one of the most important things to consider when you want to build trust, when you want to build a good image with your customers? What are yeah. some, what are something some three things that are very important to consider? Actually, you must uh, to be a businessman, you must know well about uh, your products. Yeah, mm -hmm. you must be professional. Yeah, you know well about all the knowledge about your products. You can know, you know how to produce. You know what kind of uh, quality can be acceptable. What the market needs. You must try to be professional. Then people can rely on your um, suggestions. This is very important. I think this is a, in every career, yes. you must be professional. This yes. is the foremost important. Yeah? yeah. And secondly, I think you must try to create more chance, create more <coughs> in business profit. You must uh, let your customers can, can earn money, money of course, during yeah. your cooperation. This is very important. Yeah. Makes yeah, sense. but actually, people say, "Oh, we are partners. We are not uh, um, business relations. We are partners." We're partners. But yeah. actually, the key point is you must like your customers earn money. Mm -hmm. I think this is uh, always my principle. So, what do you mean by that when you say you must let them earn money? As in, when you set the pricing, you should consider. Actually, when we talk about the, our cooperation, I will offer my price. I will offer my co uh, my products. They will say, oh, the price is okay or not, your products needed or not, and uh, the payment issues and the policies I can release to my customers, all this can guarantee my customers have a profit, finally. Okay. If they lose money with you, who then will follow they you? They would not want to come yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it makes sense. There's like all these elements <clears throat> that you have to consider, and you learned that as you... Went yeah, along. yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially uh, in the critical times, if the market not good, everyone want to to save money, to earn money more. But uh, at that time, I have to sacrifice something mm -hmm. more than my customers. Yeah, interesting. So, so in that time, you will be the one kind of making the sacrifices. You will be the one trying to understand your customers' position. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I have to support them. Makes sense. So support them in many kinds of fields, like payment issue. Maybe their support not only including the the profit. This is the first, but uh, other supporting also can be like uh, family supporting. Like uh, maybe they have some problems about the uh, case study or something like so this. You, like caring for your customers. Yeah, have, yeah, yeah. You, keeping it professional. <laughs> keeping a profession, but also caring for them. So I yeah. think that's ba creating a balance yeah. of both is, yeah, is important yeah, yeah. In, in, in the relationship. And actually, the third uh, point I want to mention is uh, the customers I choose 
always the nice, kind person. Mm -hmm. The people who enjoy a very harmonious family mm -hmm. and he's kind to his uh, parents. Mm -hmm. Such people is our fur, uh, is uh, our customers who I should seek after. I should follow, I should support. Yeah, so you don't just choose anyone. You, choose, yeah, you, you yeah. select you select who you can actually work with. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. these are the people that... We must have the same idea, yeah? Same yeah. attitude toward the world. Yeah. Uh, we cannot, I cannot, uh, I think uh, every business you want to uh, based on the long term, not the short term. Yes. So we have to find some uh, right person for us. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. It should be sustainable. It should be someone sustainable yeah. and long term and uh, mutual benefit. Yeah, yeah. I think that um, there's lots of things that you can study in a person to see how they are in their personal life, and that yeah. can affect how they are in yes. their professional life yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was watching this video about. There was this business woman and she was with dinner on yeah. in, with dinner with someone else and she was thinking whether she wants to partner with that person or not and then she saw that that person she she ordered pasta and she was waiting for the other person to order and the other person was thinking and was very confused like 10 minutes asking the order uh, asking the waiter what should I order and then finally she ordered so then the person she realized that if she takes this long just to order a meal then maybe in business she would she would also be very confused yeah so i think there are the little tricks you can use to see how a person is and how they would be in their professional life yeah yeah, yeah. as well yeah during the cooperation uh, because you have to do something together during the pro uh, procedures you can know you can see oh this is uh, the man we can work with or not Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. So this is all about business, all about yeah. what you learned, which is very, very exciting. And um, one last thing about business before we move on to culture. Yeah. And, and one thing is that we always talk about how a successful man behind a successful man, there's always yeah. a woman, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yourself are a very successful woman. <laughs> so who is behind you? Who is the man behind you that is contributing? Actually. I, you cannot call I'm a successful uh, woman. Actually, I think I'm lucky. I'm lucky enough because I have a very nice and very kind father. Yeah, I can give you one story about my birth. Um, now you can see, I, I see I'm positive towards life. Yeah, I'm also confident about myself. Yes. Even in some uh, unknown world, yeah. I still behave like I'm confident that you I, know I even do. at present I don't know but I think I will know soon I can learn yeah mm, such characters I think uh, is mm, created by my father yeah. actually father always creates more comfortable life for us when I was born I was born in hospital in 1981 at that time actually I was born in a small town Mm -hmm. Small town. Um, Baba, most of my classmates, my friends, same age, all, most of them just uh, uh, delivered at home at that time. Always parents ask daughter, come to home. You know, in uh, in every village, so there's no some people. No one goes to the hospital? No, no. hospital. Okay. They just uh, ask someone here uh, to help mama deliver. But for me, Baba, take my mama to hospital. And uh, <clears throat> afternoon that day when I was born, my, my, my mama and the baba go to the hospital. And the mama still can work well. So some uh, doctors, uh, some uh, <clears throat> people in, in hospital say, oh, this lady, uh, she came here just for birth, but uh, she don't like uh, she will give birth to a baby. Maybe need uh, maybe one week, More two weeks time. later. Okay. But uh, I think uh, maybe four hours later, I was she born. Was ready. <laughs> I was born. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we stayed there four days in hospital. And then my baba, you know, at that time, no cars in my hometown. But my, my mama told me my baba just uh, found the number one car from the government to the hospital and send my mama and me back to my grandmother's home. 
So this is also a very impressive thing in my family, even in my village. <laughs> that was something brand new for Yeah, for yeah, yeah. And when my, my mama get out from the car, my baba just uh, hug my mama, slowly, slowly walking in, into the family. Yeah. At that time, actually, this is uh, seldom uh, pictures you can see yeah. in the real life. So Baba always uh, had to see, try his best, yeah. try his best to offer um, what he can do our, uh, for us. That's you know, great. after I graduated from uh, university, my Baba said, okay, we should buy, I should buy a car for you. I said, oh, at that time, people even got married, they don't have their yeah. own car. But my Baba said, okay, you should have your own car. You must drive yourself. And also my sister, my sister first day to the to the government work, she's a uh, government officials. The first day she go to the work, my Baba said, okay, you should drive yourself. Mama said, oh no, she is so young and 200 kilometers away from my home. My Baba said, no, she already grown up. She must uh, drive herself. She must go to the work independently. Mama insisted on Baba, you should find a driver, company my sister too. But um, my Baba so stubborn said, no, this is uh, her own life. Wow. She must uh, drive herself. So then, then you drove? Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah, no, without any company. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so your father played a huge role in 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 your upbringing, in your journey yeah, yeah. from the beginning. From the beginning, you can see like all those actions, all, like your the behavior, yes. the attributes of your father showcase like how he really wanted to empower yeah. you and make you independent. Yeah, yeah. And actually, from the beginning, from my birth till now, actually, uh, from the beginning till my career, my Baba never criticized me. Never criticized my sister. Never. He just encouraged you through. Every time I see Baba, I'm worried about my examination. Maybe this time I cannot get um, good marks. He always said, okay, I believe you. I believe in you. You, <laughs> you will be good. You will do a good job. Obviously like this. Yeah. For example, when I was uh, maybe five or six years old, my Baba's friends come to my family and have a dinner together. At that time, in our culture, we should let our guests eat first. Families, uh, after they finish, families members can come, the me have the meal. So, so we, you wait for them to completely finish eating? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eating. Okay. But my, my Baba never let me wait. <laughs> oh, really? Always ask me to join together. <laughs> you know to drink, to drink alcohol. Uh -huh. But I cannot drink. Baba will prepare the juice. And also the same cup, tears. <laughs> but my, I'm, I'm too young, always a cup falling down, broken. <laughs> Baba said, oh, don't worry, no problem. give a new one. Always like this. <laughs> I so enjoy. Yeah. yeah. So I think you also <laughs> got that like positive vibe, yeah, yeah. positive energy from, from So I, I, I will active, I will be here what I want to do. Even sometimes not good, but the Baba all never criticize. Just yeah. to do it. Yeah. Just do what you want, something like this. That's very beautiful how yeah. your father played such a critical role in your yeah, journey yeah, and yeah. In empowering you. Actually, I enjoy a very uh, nice, beautiful uh, childhood, actually. Yeah, all my classmates, all my uh, friends, they say, oh, you, ha you have a so nice baba. People, uh, my classmates even say, oh, we're all even jealous of you. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's your father. Really, sounds like a beautiful person who yeah. who played such a significant role. So that's amazing. Yeah, and it's crazy to see how far you've come because of because of that empowerment throughout your life. Yeah, yeah. So this was all about your business journey, which is yeah. we can talk more and more about it because yes. it's so interesting to hear. I also want to know a little bit about the culture of China. I've never been to China. Yeah. Of course, I hear lots of stories from my father. Yeah. But I also want to ask you about a li little bit about the differences and similarities between China and here in the Middle East. Yeah. So for so one thing that we know is that in media, there's lots of stereotypes about Chinese culture, about Chinese yeah. people. Yeah. One stereotype is that the parents there are very strict. They put a lot of pressure on children. You you, you see that in movies a lot. Mm. And of course, this is a huge generalization. Yeah. But from your perspective, what do you think of this stereotype? 
actually this is uh, uh, how to see the this is i think uh, this is the result of the developing developed uh, culture mm -hmm. i don't think it's a bad thing mm -hmm. and uh, you can see there are many many students many kids go abroad for learning and after finish the learning they go back to china actually china now i think is the, one of the greatest country in, in the world allow my country actually and now even I also want my kids go abroad for study. I just want to the uh, in board, uh, enlarge their their learning. their their, their, their view Correct. view on the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, they have to go back. Mm -hmm. They must go back. I think they must make some contribution to the to our country. Their actually, country. yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah. You talk the reality of China. Uh, in every family, the parents very strict on the kids learning. But, but this is on only one hand. On the other hand, uh, parents also know more about, uh, take care more about the emotional development of the kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you were saying that um, about st strict parenting style, you were saying that you think it's good, it, yeah. it can work. But f in your childhood, do you think your parents were very strict with you? D didn't they let you do what you want to do and they kind of encouraged you of course they also guided you yeah yeah of course yeah. guidance yeah yeah is the, there. the atmosphere totally different between my my yeah. age and the, the, the new generations mm -hmm. yeah really different my baba never strict with me mm -hmm. um, always encourage me but now actually in china not uh, strict this is discipline i think mm -hmm. now life is so nice in china no one worry about the food, no one worry about, everyone can enjoy a very peaceful, very harmonious uh, mm -hmm. life. You know the central government of China uh, look after so well about the common people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Actually, why, uh, you know, Chinese people now, I think is the number one hardworking in the world. This is not uh, uh, only because of strict uh, from the parents. I think this is the self, the inner world, Everyone want to be strong, want to learn more, mm -hmm. new more, and want to challenge more. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, challenge or what I should see. This is a kind of uh, uh, development, I think. Mm -hmm. This is not a bad thing in China. Yeah, I think it, uh, it's built their love for the country as well. Yeah. Like as they grow up, they, they really appreciate their culture, their country more, so it helps yes. them. It empowers them to work harder as well. Because people in, in the Chinese people, we know, we realize very clearly about the future, the future world. Actually, if you don't have no knowledge, if you don't grasp the chance for learning, oh, you will be given up by the world. Not yeah. A, yeah, yeah, you have to do this. You have to learn and keep learning left hand. Yeah. 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 So I, this is something that you get taught growing yeah. up in, in yeah, China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So, so that means you're saying that the, it parents can be strict, but yeah. it's for the benefit of the children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it helps Actually, the this strict only like if parents find, oh, my baby is not good at study. Maybe he's good at uh, singing. Parents also follow their choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Why are we strict on our kids? Just because I know my kids can can learn more and he can su succeed, he can make it. Then we, we know I have the duty to help well, him to grow up as a successful man. Only I, we know he can do it. If I know, oh, this kid's not good at learning, maybe he's good at sports. Okay, just to follow him. Mm -hmm. This is the reality in China now. So it's the child kind of finds their passion, and the parent encourage them and yeah, help them yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in that path. At the beginning, because uh, our kids at the beginning they don't know what they should do. Yes, of course. They don't have any clearly idea about yeah. their future. Yeah. So I think parents have the duty to discipline them. Yes. Yeah. Or else, you know, there is one story in China. Mm, the, the man finally got, uh, be put into the prison uh, and he had to be, uh, maybe he fell this later, he must be shot to, to death. So, so, so the man, he was put in prison? Yeah. Okay. And, and uh, before, before he dies, he, I want to, to see how I talk with her, his mama. Oh. His mama come and talk. <laughs> he say, mama, I hate you. Mama say, why? 
You do something wrong. Why you hate me? He just crying. He said, when I was, uh, when I was young, I always do something bad. But you never discipline me. You never see I shouldn't do this, I shouldn't do this. You just spoiled me. So that is finally I grew up like this. So this is your mistakes. This is a real story in China. So I think uh, family, parents have the right, have the duty to, to help the kids grow up in a right way, in a right direction. Yes. Before they know and before they can control themselves well. So you have to discipline them. This is uh, our duty. We can even, maybe my kids will say, oh, mama, you are so strict with me. But this is also kind of love. Yeah, it's a form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. So it's very interesting to see how how big a role family plays in yeah, China yeah, and yeah, yeah. in collectivist com- societies. Like even in Pakistan, family yeah. plays a huge role in your development, in your growth, and then in your yes. career as well. So we can you are like a real life example of how family contributed to your success. Of course, yeah. it's your hard work. Yeah, of family course, education is sometimes work. more important than school than education. School education. Yes. Yeah, I think family's upbringing contributes to your personality. Yes. It's it's, it's your traits and your attributes and your behavior. Yeah. It's all it's all through the upbringing of your family. It's your environment as yes, a, yes. in your childhood. So there's so much to learn from you. There's so much to learn from your beautiful journey. This was just a little one-hour conversation, just a little piece of all the learnings that you have to offer. So I hope we do another episode again. <laughs> our time is pretty much over. But thank you very much for your time. This was very fun. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I have a little gift for you. Oh, Yes. Oh, what so, the, what's this? You you like teas, right? I mean, we were talking about if you like coffee, but you're, yeah. there are so many different tea options in China, so of yeah. course you would love tea. So you can open this. Oh, thank you so much. What's this? So Can when, I open now? Yes, yes. <laughs> oh. This is from... Ah, dear Hannah. Okay, thank you. So there are d- different, these are different tea options. So th- uh, these are all different tea flavors. And this is from uh, where? So this is like a partnership with Feel Good Tea and Karakud Mehreen. So it's from us. Ah. <laughs> and so here is all like the different tea options. Yeah. And then you can, you can make tea every day and okay. try a new flavor. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy it and thank you very much. We'll end with like our Okay, little... okay, thank you. Yay. And then perfect.